problem is out there. The ecological problem of overfishing and the public health crisis for seafood and then why it stumbles, why there is this misperception of what mariculture yeah, wild can Wild stocks, do. you can't squeeze any more blood out of that stone. Wild stock production is pretty much flat. This doesn't begin to tell the true story out there. This is what you typically see for water quality monitoring. And this is turbidity, which is just one of the eight or ten different parameters that we monitor there. Turbidity is perhaps the best measure of fish poop. If you're going to see an impact, you're going to see it in turbidity. Part of fishing down the food chain. No, that's what fishing down the food chain is what happens in commercial fisheries when they'll go from tuna and then they'll wipe out all the tuna and they'll start fishing all the mackerel and they'll wipe out the mackerel and then they'll start fishing the anchovies and they'll wipe those out and pretty soon you Can end up with an ocean of jelly. The open ocean mariculture industry just on the backs of the Peruvian anchovies. Clearly not. If we are going to grow this industry in the way that we must, if we are going to feed 9 billion people by 2050, we need to get better at this. years of operation. Open ocean mariculture, if it's done right, has no significant impact and indeed can produce fish in a more efficient, more ecologically efficient way than wild fisheries.